Welcome back to The Morning Show. I'm Biola Alabi, and with me this morning is Victoria Peppel. We have a couple of discussions we're going to be having about people in the digital yes. space. And to kick off is Shala Kinlade, the CEO and co-founder of Paystack, a technology company powering payments and growth for business in Africa. Paystack was the first Nigerian company to ex be accepted into Silicon Valley-based accelerator Y Combinator and has raised over $10 million from both international and local investors, including recently Stripe and Visa. Shola, welcome to the show. Congrat First of all, congratulations. Congratulations <laughs> and congratulations. Yeah, thank you so, so much. So quickly, you have raised $10 million to date, and you just finished your Series A, yes. which is at $8 million. Yes. So tell us what that feels like the day you guys you know, raising money, going out there, and then finally closing the round. Well, um, okay, so let me back up. Okay, um, I know okay. you mentioned it, but Paystack is a payments company. Yes. We help businesses accept payments, so we have over 17,000. We're still going to ask you more details about that um, so that people at home can understand. No, 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 I want yes, people at home yes, to understand yes, that. Exactly. But let's but, go sort of uh, like that big, that, when you got the call that you guys have closed the round. Well, it was it was a long process, so it was uh, five months, mm -hmm. so it was a... It was, it was like, okay, it was it like was, you were like, it was, you were it like, it was like more exciting, yes. like in the very yeah. early days, yeah. where we knew that this was going to, yeah. to happen. Yeah. Like, I didn't believe it. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> so, people at home are thinking, okay, they're hearing you say Paystack, you're yes, a payment company, yes, you're a technology. Yes. I don't want people to tune out and be like, okay, they don't understand technology. Yes, so, I want exactly. you to really understand, <laughs> I want you to really help us understand what that means and how you enable businesses. Yes, yes. Um, so, again, thanks. Um, we're a payments company. We help businesses accept payments, so um, a business will connect to Paystack, and immediately the customers can pay them online um, using um, the credit cards, debit cards, bank accounts, USSD, QR, any payment channel. Um, yeah, so it's really, really simple. So if you're someone that sells um, online primarily, um, Paystack was built for you. Paystack was built to help you start and grow your business. How okay. painless has Paystack been able to make these payments? Because this is yes, yes. kind of new in Nigeria. Well, um, I think we've made a lot of progress. Um, before Paystack, um, it used to be a, just starting to accept payments would probably take like three or four weeks just because you want to accept payments. You know, now people, you, we can literally start accepting payments on Paystack now. You know, so help me understand how start. this works. So my internet has just run out. Yeah. I've just finished my internet now. Yes, yes. And I want to add some more money to my internet using yes. my, my, um, my bank account. Yes. Where is Paystack in okay. that process? Um, so you will back up a little and say that Paystack actually helps businesses so um, one of our customers, for example, say Smile. I think it's now you're talking about internet, you know. Uh, if, you have, if you're an internet company, on your website, you will connect Paystack so that okay. when your customers want to pay you, okay. um, it will option. be... So Paystack, Paystack will go and fetch the money from my account. Exactly. Paystack connects to all the banks, connects <laughs> to all the card networks, connects to NIBs, connects to everybody in the financial um, system so that you don't have to do that. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you were selling shirts yes. online, yes. Um, you would come to Paystack. Um, Paystack will give you something to put on your website. Well, there are or options, give you a right? link you can share with your customers. Okay. Well, there are okay, options okay. you get yes. to use okay. when you use Paystack. It's yes. not just what are the options? Um, with it, you? Your customers can pay you with cards, with the bank accounts, with USSD with QR codes, um, and we'll continue to add, as, as any new payment method that gains steam in the country, we will add it that you don't have to think about it. What about international payments? Same thing, you know, so, um, thank you. Now there's Visa, <laughs> but yes, also, yes. you know, but um, yeah, so your customers can be anywhere. Um, I tell people one of, our, um, one of the reasons we started Paystack was to make sure that any business can accept payments from anyone anywhere in the world. Um, I, want, I like to say that, I'm sitting here now in Lagos, but it's easier for me to buy something from someone in, say, mm. California mm -hmm. than someone in Puerto mm. you know, uh, and, and it shouldn't be like that, yeah. you know. Uh, the, it looks like the person in California has access to more tools, is more empowered, you know, and we started pace that because we wanted to empower people here. And it has nothing to even do with the size of the business, you know. Even if it's a big business here, even if it's a small business, 
businesses here um, need all the tools they can mm. to accept payments and Paystack mm. is building everything for these businesses. One concern is fraud. Yes, exactly. So a lot of people are still skeptical, especially yes. the older generation about yes. making payments online. Yes. What kind of reassurance do you give them? Yes, exactly. So um, before now, uh, payments like it comes with issues, like I don't know why, you know. And one of the big things we've done at Paystack is to just figure out why these issues happen and fix it, you know. Um, so first thing is, Paystack is very secure. We have P PCI DSS compliance, so um, everything is on point. You know, customers don't have to worry. Um, we have automated disputes and tracking. So um, even if the fraud is not really fraud, uh, even if it's like you just get a debit alert or if it's like a dispense error, for example, we have built automated tools to make it extremely easy to recover that money, mm. you know, so, um, and, and so we, 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 we think that the way I tell my people, for everybody that makes a payment online and mm -hmm. has an issue making that payment, mm -hmm. you're losing that person because next time the person won't come back, you know, and so we know that and we've built this system to work to make sure that when these issues arise, um, which is not even fraud, which is, say, disputes, sure, sure, sure. Um, you know, it will be fixed. For the fraud specifically, there's something we call two-factor authentication. So transactions, you have to put your, uh, the first time you authorize the transaction, there has to be a second factor, uh, maybe a PIN or a token or something, just to ensure that uh, it's the right person. Mm. So as I mean, I want to go back to sort of a little bit, take a little bit, a couple of steps back to when you first started this company. Yes, yes. So you guys were the first company to get into Y Combinator, yes, which yes. is a global accelerator that helps business, that helps technology businesses grow. Yes. What were you guys doing before then? Okay. I know there's two of you. Um, yes. So back in the top, uh, we went to Babcock University. Um, studied computer science, Ezra and Did I. you guys start the company at Babcock? No, 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 okay, no. Okay. We were doing stuff uh, okay. <laughs> after that. Have you always been playing around with technology? Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, well, I started playing around in university. Um, in university? Yes, yes. I think the first time I saw like Windows XP was in Babcock. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, uh, but I started playing around very early. So you started playing around with computers when you got to university? Yes, exactly. <laughs> when did you get your first computer? Um, 2001. And today you're raising $10 million. <laughs> no, so parents, get those computers exactly. for your kids. Uh, yes, okay, yes. but tell us, so um, what... Um... Yeah, so after school, um, I worked with Heineken Nigerian Breweries. Okay. I did that for two years. Okay. After that, I wrote my own software. It's like Dropbox okay. Um, okay. for emerging markets. Okay. I had about 200,000 companies using it because it was open source. I just put it up online. Um, I had a partner then Mayawa. Um, was, it, was it people using it were Nigerian outside or just outside, Nigerian? Outside, wow. yeah, because uh, that was why we built it. Like, we just figured that, you know, we can do this thing. Uh, and there's so many people looking for it. When we built it, we wanted to start selling it locally. A few people were giving us, you know, our Nigerians. Yes, <laughs> and like, like, yeah. are, who are you? you know. <laughs> Who's your come on? We're like, okay, this is too stressful. I don't really who are you? <laughs> and, and, and we were still very early, probably, sure. probably was about 21 then. I'm like, I can't do this thing, please. So you just, so I just left put it, it up open online, source. put up a website, uploaded it on SourceForge. And the next day, someone from Brazil sent us an email and said, wow, I've been looking for this thing. This is amazing. What was it, it how was it different from Dropbox? Um, what made it different? Dropbox, you know, Dropbox is on the cloud. Mm. And our thinking was that, now very naive, was that the cloud, we can't be talking about cloud in Nigeria because we don't even have internet. Sure, sure, so sure. can you download it in your environment? Um, so that even if you don't have internet, your virtual environment, yes, your local network. It was for businesses. Yeah. Okay, yes, so it'll yes. be a LAN type exactly. of thing. Exactly. Okay. So you download it and then okay. you run it from okay. there. So okay. that was what it was. Okay. But in, in five years, we have over, we had over two hundred thousand businesses using it. Wow. So it went well, but it was open source. Yeah. We were young. We were not yeah. charging. We were yeah. not really getting yeah. paid. Yeah. Oh, Where we're is it? How is it doing today? Uh, it's, I think it's still there. But <laughs> they haven't. You have. You haven't been developing. You have stopped coding for that. You code for someone else now. Someone that you're raising money for, but well, yes. Okay. Back. But after that, just doing that, I had some, I had access to a few people, um, and so a few banks that are reaching out to me to help them build software. So I built software for about three banks, okay. financial services, okay. um, and then quickly, I, you know, bef I'd always known that the state of payments in Nigeria it can be better, mm. you know, but. I didn't think I was was in my place to fix it. Who am I? You know, so um, just working with the banks, then just had like some epiphany moment that you know what, I built correct software before. 
now like the banks know me they trust me i can't this payments thing cannot be that difficult hmm. like, let's, let's so that's really how this um, um, and so i started pay stack um and thankfully about two or three months or five months actually into the program into just building it uh we got accepted into y combinator um which is a silicon valley yes. accelerator so we got invited to san francisco actually yeah. when they pitched pay stack uh, thankfully, we got in. We got one twenty thousand dollars, which was almost immediately got a credit. You're like that's like a million at that time for you. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was. I was the most. I was the happiest person. Was like, now, one of the things that worked out for you yeah. at that time was well, the fact that Africa and Nigeria is yes, an emerging market. Yes, yes. So some credit goes to your market, yes, yes, where you yes, came yes. from. No, no, no. This market is the potentials are just too large. Like transactions, if you're doing payments. This is the place this to be is, because yeah. the transactions are happening yeah. and most of the transactions are not digital. Mm. So just think about the next, like we're just going to keep moving Growing forward. Yeah. Like there's no, <laughs> there's no explanation. Like, like at some people, point, all, all I mean, 50% 50 of transactions will be digital. Yes, yeah, now and the number is yes. 1%. Yes, and so now 1%. So far. they're still like 49%. Exactly. I mean, yes, um, yes. so now Silicon Valley happens. Yes. Mm. Do you guys get there and you're like, you know what? We're just gonna develop it from here. Like we're in San Francisco. I, I, there's, <laughs> there's, there's no new, I don't have to have a generator. Exactly. I have the light. I mean, how I do must you... confess, I my father was like, you know what, let's just stay here. <laughs> I was like, oh, let us stay here, you know. But, and we stayed. We spent at least seven months. There. Okay. Uh, the program was a three month program. Okay. Uh, we stayed behind. We wanted to raise money. Okay. So after YC, yes. um, they had a demo day, okay. which is they invited investors from all over the world, yeah. about, about 700 of them. And I had to stand and just pitch to them. Yeah. And just two minutes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then about 40 people said they were interested. I had those meetings. We raised about $1.3 million then, you know, which was really exciting. That was the first time. That's how I knew there's money in this world. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, yeah, they just gave me one point two. Like 20 minutes, yeah. you just tell them what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll give you this. We'll give you that. What were some uh, of the biggest know? lessons you learned during that, during that yes, demo yes. day? Um, so be, even just going into demo day, I think about three big lessons. Um, very first one is you have to be, the way to be impressive is to work on your business. Mm -hmm. Like as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I think a lot mm -hmm. of founders mm -hmm. get fixated on raising money mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. looking for investments mm -hmm. and all that. But very early, they told us the reality is that you have to build your business. Your own work is to build your business. Mm -hmm. The people that are giving you money, their work is to look for good businesses and give them money. So don't don't like don't mix get it, it up. Yeah, exactly. Get Work it on stuff, your business yeah. because when you get into those conversations, and that's the next lesson, you have to be extremely good at articulating what is impressive about your business. Mm. You don't have to say everything. Just what are the three most impressive things about this business yeah, that's so okay we're, this is demo day we're a demo yes, day like yes, what are yes. you what, so what are you saying are the most impressive things about your business so at that time so the first thing is that like africa is big mm. um payments is still very early in africa number two we started we built something we have about then we had about maybe we were doing which is very very strange then when i was pitching on demo day i said we were doing eighteen thousand dollars a week Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Now, we're doing about at least $5 million a week. Wow. Which is just two wow. years. <laughs> which is just two years ago. Yeah. You know, so, um, exactly. But, so we built it. This is what we're doing. And this is the team. Like, we know Nigeria. We know how to write software. We know Boy, businesses. Let me call my junior. Give us money. money. <laughs> <laughs> give us money. money. <laughs> the okay, we'll go back and think about it. We'll go back and sell it. to the investors. Yes. Now, coming back to looking to the business, yes. what takes up most of your time and money? What area yes, yes. do you spend the most developing? Uh, um, so I, I think it's a lot of people. Um, so, I, well, as a founder, now it was the product. In fact, the two things I had to spend my, my life doing, it is building the product and talking to the customers we're building it for, mm. just to make sure we're building the right thing. Um, but that is now I've transitioned into just finding the people to help us make mm. this happen. Um, this is 
Yeah. How many developers do you guys have now? Um, about 15, but the team is about 30, 31 mm. actually now. Every time I keep increasing it because I have, we have about six people joining on Monday. Too. Wow. <laughs> so I didn't realize that so that's we're going to go on a quick yeah. break. When we come back, I want to talk about how you find your developers, how you train your developers, really that part of the business, which is really the engine room mm. of technology businesses in Nigeria. Yes. And then we'll talk about some of the soft skills as well that go along with that. Um, we're going on a quick break. When we come back, we're going to continue talking to our Paystack entrepreneur, <laughs> Shala, so don't go anywhere. Our customers are focused, versatile, superheroes. Our customers are also the most important people in our world. So we listen, partner, and give solutions that make a difference in their world. At First Bank, we will always put you first. You first. First Bank. In a fast-paced world, you need the ability to make everything move at your own speed. Stay ahead and not miss anything. That's why I'm on More Life Complete, which lets me call everyone in Nigeria. On all networks, I just 15 cobalt per second. You can also call any line in the United States, Canada, UK, Germany, India, China, and Malaysia too, at just 15 cobalt per second. And just when you think life can't get any easier, I get 15 free minutes to call anyone in the Nine Mobile family. Before you think I've got to compete on more life, I also get 15 minutes free browsing to catch up on sports updates and anything online. Now that's what I call the complete package. There's an old saying in Nigeria, a single tree cannot make a forest. At First Bank, we started from humble beginnings. And with prudent management and bold acquisitions, we have grown to meet the needs of our customers throughout Nigeria and beyond. You first, First Bank. Welcome back to the morning show. I'm Viola Labi, and with me is Victoria Peppel. And still with us in studio is Shola, the, fo the founder and CEO of Paystack. And it's a technology company that it's a it's a payments financial company, yeah. um, technology company. Technology is really the key word in your business, which yes. means you need people to develop technology. and build the technology. Yes. We've heard a lot of things about developers. There are organizations like Andela that trains yes. developers. Yes. There, I mean, there's the developer, Google's developers launchpad. Yeah. Facebook has a developers yeah. launchpad. Tell us how you find your developers and is, are there challenges in finding developers or all these programs help flood the market with developers now yes. and you have your pick <laughs> well, I wish <laughs> um, so I, I would say um, it's a good time to be a software developer okay um, I'm a software developer myself um, I spent like the first one year building pace that myself you know so um, and now we've grown the team um, and we have some of the best engineers working on this problem um, are they all local yes everything is local pace that is Okay, it's local, it's, it's local. Built, Are they still using here. part of your original source code? Yes, yes, so just a part of, just the tiny Just a tiny, it's yes, yes. it almost just Shola's name on it. Exactly, so anytime though. we have problems, maybe, I'm sure it's my own part <laughs> <laughs> that has the problem. But, 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 but seriously, um, I think um, it's, it's still very difficult to find um, people that have experience we're looking for. I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of progress, like you said. Um, Mandela is doing a very good job. Um, there are also companies doing internship programs, getting people um, to become developers, um, and so that's happening. Um, for us at Paystack, um, we found it very um, challenging to find senior engineers. Um, it's easier to find junior engineers, mm -hmm. um, junior developers. Um, it's more difficult to find senior developers, and so well, just sometimes we have to pray. Like, God, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this happen. guy I'm interviewing <laughs> today, let him be the one. <laughs> exactly, yeah. But, but I would say, I would say um, the technology ecosystem is growing 
new people are getting added into the system and it's it's exciting wow yeah. we're going to be doing a little um segment later called our take which is going to be about the technology the and challenges of entrepreneurs do yes. you mind sticking around yeah, and yes. staying I with have us plenty on that? Challenges. okay yeah <laughs> So we're going to be talking about those things and how we can ease, hopefully, they create an environment, either a collaborative environment um, that can ease that. But uh, thanks for staying on. Thank you so much. Thank you.